Hello and welcome back to Silver Moon. Our city is looking fine, isn't it? I really love the look of that. Now we have those dark clouds on the horizon. We can see that because war is upon us soon. First of all, why do we need to go to war? Well, because we need the marble that we have in this mountain here. It's really just all about this resource there. Without that, we cannot continue. We cannot advance to advanced buildings and to aristocrats especially as well. That is one thing. The other thing is though, um, with the war, we are at war with this guy here as well. So that's Neuthardt. And he belongs, well, that's his island there. And he's also situated on our island. Now, I don't want to completely destroy him plus i don't know if i actually could do that so in that regard we need to build up some defenses right so that is the first thing we do have some nice walls i wanted to show them off for quite some time because up to this point i still remember this to this very day these were the best walls that i've ever seen in any game up to this point and you probably get disappointed now i certainly am not because those walls look just fabulous I love them. I especially love them when you take siege against them and stuff like that. But look at that. We have now a perfect wall be uh, against him. Of course, as we can see, these walls, well, they cost me quite some resources. So I cannot actually build that, man that much of it, right? This is the first step here, though. Um, we're going to continue the wall over to that side and then we need lots of towers as well to defend ourselves and not only towers but for the stone what i need to do first is i need to produce more stone so down here we have a bit of space actually yeah here we have space let's have ourselves a new market building that i hope that i can place somewhere along the coast very good and then we just need a stone or a quarry and then two stone masons that can work on that and off they go two of them can work on one don't forget that and as we can see they're now going for it they don't even need a road or something like that but i do need more stone that is one thing the other thing is we do need a bit of a military power we have our castle we have researched the swords or and the armor especially so we also have now the um, weaponsmith, armorsmith, and the bowmaker and they can now produce something for us that means we can now finally recruit the first Swordman, and as you can see there they are we just need to have a waypoint for them and out they come the first soldiers and then also some archers perhaps i don't even know if they cost yeah they cost me two for each unit so actually it's not that cheap having those military units there at the moment it's yeah it's quite a hefty price let's get some more swordmen and after that i'm going to get another battalion of archers And as we can see, we can just then move them around like in any RTS game as well. And then a few more archers there that we have them. Perfect. That's quite a nice army that we have there for our defense. This is partly our invasion army that we're going to need then for the island. On the other hand, I do have my naval fleet, my navy. Um, we can still get another big warship. Let's do that because I really don't want to get caught off guard. Though I don't think that he's going with a very much... Or very big fleet there against us i just hope he doesn't have an alliance with anyone as far as i can see so we are um on trade decrease or trade terms with all of my enemies now or opponents and as we can see we can zoom to them um and but i can see if they're actually allied well with each other so that is a huge problem i hope they're not because otherwise we would have a world war i hope it doesn't come to that now my army is yeah here in the center and we do yeah we do get some stone again so let's just continue with a bit of the defense that we have let's see how far we can get up there where can i actually build it all a I can, I can I, I come pretty close there to the enemy much closer than i thought would be possible your fleet with that wall very good and another aye, aye, big Captain. Warship is out there now, and as we can see, the wall is almost finished. Though, of course, one wall doesn't do anything so far. It's just buying some time if he's attacking. That's really it. Now, of course, we shouldn't stop advancing our city. We still need to wait on the stone there for the defense. What we can do in the meantime is we can start our next production chain, and that is the silk cloth. Right? The silk cloth we can have down here because we have the silk and the cotton, both of them. Oh, no, the indigo. That's what we need. Silk and indigo both of them so first of all let's be the worst person on earth again by cutting down the trees lots of them and up here in this corner we're going to have i hope there's no mountain or something like that looks good though up here we're going to have the indigo 
and down to the south on the southern part we're going to have the silk. How far can I actually go towards... I could still have something around here, but I'm very close then to the volcano. Right, so this still also belongs to me. Perfect. Now, let's start with the first plantations. Those are some really advanced plantations. I love the look of them as well, especially of the indigo. Such a beautiful color. And yep, there we got the first ones. Another one. And boom, we have some beautiful indigo plantations. They're now, well, getting us the, I think, dye. Yep, yeah, it's dye. So they're making dye out of it. That's what we need as a first step. And then we're going with the silkworms. We're going with them down here in this area. Silk, silk plantation fertility is good. I mean, we are really lucky to have such an island. I gotta say that. It's usually not that simple to get these um, construct or the, these productions up. But in that case, we were pretty lucky, I should say. Um, let's go with six here as well. I have no idea how big the ratio is, though. Six should be fine, though. All right, so there we got the six of them. Nice little cutie buildings there. And let's just go get some roads here as well. And oh yeah, we do have some juicy, happy silkworms roaming around and producing some silk for us, as we can see. They look like Chinese people doing their job there. I don't know why, but it's still funny. Alright, we got the silk, we got the dye, so all we need now really is the factory for that. And for that we have, yeah, let's have the factory district just here in the harbor area. I usually like to do that. And where is it? There it is. First of all, I think we do need the dye works. This one produces then something, so we're going to have the dye works on this side and the silk works then on the other side. Let's have three of them for now. And as we can see, oh, wait a second. As we can see, they're producing the silk cloth right away. What is the tailor good for then? All right, how much does it cost me? Ah, I need to find out. What's the tailor doing? He's producing clothing, but I'm pretty sure that my people want silk cloth only right now. Yep. They don't even want that. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, that makes things a lot easier, but I'm pretty sure that we get these cl this cloth demand there soon. But for now, let's just be happy that we have some very simple citizens there who don't want that much. Let's have six for them. I think six is a bit too much, but it's better to have too many of them than too few. Um, and let's have another trade people there as well. And off they go getting the resources. We still have some resources left, but I'm pretty sure I will need soon um, more of that again and yes they're now getting silk and indigo or dye and producing the silk cloth out of that very good and that's probably as complex as trading goes or trade routes or trade systems go i think two to three um, buildings top so it's not like in anno 1800 where you have this massive machine part um, factory that you need to have for the cable for the cars other than that, the complex complexity that definitely comes here with the financial system and the demand there that you need to figure out all the time. Now, that is looking fine. We have the production. All of them are working now, almost all of them. I think those guys there, it's too far to the trade building. So let's have another market building and just here so they can do that. Um, Brilania, Brilania, you're going on this trade route. So you are going to be... in Lubeck and from Lubeck or a loop uh, it's very difficult to read I think it's Lubeck something like that and then we have another one here this is silver moon once again and here we're a going to load now the silk cloth oh we already have quite a lot of that well, let's just make it four out of it because I think because of the distance as we can see it is quite a long distance so we are going to have lots of that in store or lots of that in my cargo hold, mostly. Um, that was a mistake, it's Silver Moon. And there we're going to load then the uh, silk cloth. Fine, fine, fine. So with that, you can start. I think he's going empty handed the first time. Nope, actually he's already doing something there. 15 tons of that. Um, I don't know, do we have that in, in a market stand? I don't think so, nope, we don't. We need to build it first, right? 
It's this one, the clothing stand. And I'm going to wait with that for a bit of time there before I'm building that. Because there will be a huge rush towards it, obviously. Meantime, we have enough stone again. So we can continue with our palisade, with our wall installation. Let's get as close as possible to them. Because otherwise I would give him some land, which I don't want to. To our sheep farms. And my sheep farms will take a hit though, I think. Oh, yes. This is so close that I cannot really go further than that. All right. Sorry, sheep farm. My defense is more important than you. Plus, I don't think I need that anymore, the sheep farm, because we do have so much cloth now with the cotton plantations. That should be fine. But anyway, we got now the wall fully up and running. Now what we still need is the towers, the cannon tower. I think we can build it, right? We should be able to build it. Let's build one cannon tower for now. And this one can house infantry. So this one can house then people. Um, we also have the defense tower here. I think, oh, we can also build that. Why? Do I have the weapons? Do it need, what, what does it need? It doesn't state that, right? It doesn't state that it needs the weapons though. This is definitely a defense tower for the harbor area though. So this is something we should have here in this area because he's going to try perhaps at least once to attack my harbor, I think. So it might be a good thing to have it here. So you cannot have them on the ocean. In this case, this will have to do. One is defending. Oh, we have some defense here for our shipyard. There it is. It's shooting then, all right. I think it's taking then the cannon, uh, the cannons that we have, the ship cannons, right? But I think our fleet will be fine anyway. The only really thing is, the only real thing that I would like to know is if these towers fight themselves as well. Let's have one watchtower. Nope. Okay. You really need to house someone in there, I think. Yeah. All right. And the cool thing here is you can either place them in front of the wall or behind the wall or in the wall. You can integrate them as well if you want to. If you do that, I'm pretty sure that your infantry can walk on the wall itself as well. Um, or we have, yeah, we also have these ones, the wall axis building. So let's use this one actually too. Let's use this in a few locations. All right, we need to make sure, of course, that it's not on the other side. It's not. That's a good thing. Right, so people can then go up there if they want to or if they have to. There is another one. And then we have a few of these towers there, of course, on the other side. And quite a lot of them, I'd say. All right, my sheep like to sing. Very good. Got a, a very nice fortified wall now, wall system. And now for that, all we need really is lots of archers. So they will then fire down there. Let's take the first archers that we have. Um, I think. A fire has broken out at your service, my king. There we have a few archers. New unit ready. Right. Well, Luckily, we can get all of them at once. And let's go with those archers to these towers. And they should be able to enter them. They are. Very good. Oh, once again, another monument for us. We got some ruins over here. No problem, though. I just really need these archers now in the towers. I think there are... Yep, there are soldiers very close already to my wall. All right, they can just go in there. Let's not overcomplicate matters here. That's good. And let's definitely have some of them wear those cavalries. Because as soon as I declare war on them, I'm pretty sure they will attack. They will try to attack. And for that, I will have lots of archers. Um, way more archers, by the way. And let's have all of them gather then here, where the sheep are. Let's go to the sheep. Right, those guys here. Um, let's put some of them into the next tower. Can I do that? Or I can actually put them on the wall now. Right, let's do that. There we have a few more. Okay, I think this is full. Let's go into that tower there. This tower, yeah, there are two in here now. And as you can see, there my are the archers. I love that. I think it's the only game where you can have archers on the walls. Right. 
Raichu. Yeah, we still have a few. They should be going yes, up sir. to this wall there. Do we still have money after all of that? Because I know my expenses People are going are up. They are going to leadership. skyrocket with that. But it should be fine. All right, so we're doing that. Uh, we have then our army ready. Let's get another warship just for the sake of it. And how is my silk trader doing? Oh, that's a lot of silk. 50 tons he's got already. All right, some of them are still not working though. They need silk. I think dyes, we have plenty. Oh, yes. Silk is something that's missing. We can still pl uh, place a few of them. Two, at the very least. A conflagration is devouring your city. Yes, 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 yes. Always the fire. And yet my buildings still stand. Most of them, anyway. Most of them, we got a few down up on this district there. Don't they have access? Oh yeah, they have access. So that should be fine. Alright, so archers are in place. We still got a few. Um, let's send a few more. Three of them on that wall here. Even though the cavalry is gone. Oh yeah, they're moving up here, but I think they're patrolling around, that's all. And right, I can still send some archers there into these towers there. Up here, I don't expect any real attack. So, I mean, we can, we can still send some more archers over there, but I really don't know if I can handle this financially. As we can see, we're paying up 450 for my units. We got lots of swordmen there. I'm also going to have these swordmen here, kind of like in the center. So I can always move them around quite easily. That's it. Stone, we have plenty of. I think it's also time to once again upgrade our roads. Because after all, we're preparing for war, but we're not savages. We can still have cobblestone roads. Just imagine the dirt when it's raining. We can't have that in a civilized town. All right, actually, they're really expensive. Like in, in other games, in, in Anno games, you can really just do that with one go. And here it takes forever um, because they cost just so much. All right, but we got lots of cobblestone roads. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is ready. We still have some archers. Yes, yes, yes. Let's move some of them to those towers here so that we don't have any empty spot anywhere. All right, and this one. Perfect, that's it. Everything has been prepared. My fleet is ready too. Um, we don't have an invasion fleet really, uh, I don't think that's necessary. I think these buildings are really close to the ocean anyway, and we might just then destroy them, and especially those towers though. I don't know yet if these towers shoot. That's another thing. Let's have a look at our goods there. We need to make sure that even during war times we have a constant supply of money. It's all looking good. The only thing that's perhaps not looking good is leather, I think. Oh, and salt. Salt is down. That is something we need to fix, though. We have the salt works up here, and what we can see right away is that there is only really one salt work for one salt mine, which is depressing, to say the least, but it's, it is what it is. We do need to get another medium trade vessel, and what I've also found out is you can arm the trade vessels, which is pretty cool. So they do have some... At least some self-defense there as well, if they need that. Um, and I think we had... We definitely had some salt. Somewhere. On one of our other islands. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh. Yes, there it is. On the island of my opponent. Who's got a big city there. But at least there is something. And we and should be going for that. Finished. We got a new trade vessel. Let's go with it. We still need to do that because I really don't want to run out of salt in the middle of something while I focus on other things. Let's get some tools, some stone. Oh, we're out of stone again. It doesn't matter. We still have enough stone there for this production there. And as we can see, he's really diligent here as well with the large mines. Doing a lot of things. I don't know if you, if it really works if you have that many. And they're, they, they don't seem like they're working. Yeah, doesn't seem like that. I have no idea what this is. This building here, yeah, we probably have to build that as well at some point. Let's just wait for the ship. 
Speaking of it, there it is. My seagull. And seagull is delivering me some nice juicy wood. Right, so there we got the resources. And let's get this whole production up and running. Alright, this one. And one salt works, that's really it. This one is still producing so much salt that is that it can probably support a million people at least at least a million let's say a trillion because something along the line Into is the most shrouds. likely we have 5800 people and we are at the end of two salt works no idea why all of a sudden but new supply is coming the rest is still still looking good um the only thing perhaps is tobacco which is it stays around that but it's not going down or up so it's stable then next time I will upgrade some buildings. I will probably need some more tobacco again. Other than that, we are fine. Let's continue with a few more roads here. Do they cost coin as well? Yes, they also cost me some coin, but it's not much. Alrighty, and with that, let's enjoy a beautiful look of the city once again. Wait for the salt to come in, and then it's wartime, baby. Stay tuned. <laughs> 